Hi guys! Uh, there's a tag I'm going to do now and it's the K-pop Nostalgia tag which was first done by Alex and I'm gonna leave the link uh, for his video in the description and I first saw it at Random Me's channel and right after it I watched his video as well and Random Me picked the uh, five, no, six items and Alex did like uh, seven or eight and I just didn't want to make this entirely Super Junior because but those are really memorable things for me so as I was trying to pick others I was like but maybe I should pick this to do too, this to do too so I just ended up having too many items so I'm gonna try and talk much less about each so I'm gonna start now um, mm -hmm. of course I should start with my first ever K-pop album which is Acha and I didn't even buy this myself, I ordered it through a girl who had me order from Cape of Town and I got this in 2011 December I remember ordering it on uh, the 6th of December and I remember like this because actually we have that's like Santa's day, we don't have Santa at Christmas, that's like my country's thing so like that's why I remember this and I still got it before Christmas and I was just amazed because I expected a jewel case, you know, I never bought a K-pop album. And this was a diggy pack, and this is like the shittiest packaging actually, and I was still so amazed. That's why it felt so weird, and I also really enjoyed the album. Sure, later I found other studio albums to be more appealing, they are my favorites, and Acha is uh, okay. So I still love it because it's a studio album, so don't get me wrong. And I was just so amazed, and you know, it just started all because... It's my first K-pop album ever, and I think for most people, the first K-pop album ever is really nost nostalgic, so... Yes, and the next item I pegged was Donkey's Opera Puzzle Piece. Um, these were already out of print when I uh, found out about Opera, and I could only buy the CD plus DVD version as a pre-order. And when these uh, came out and started to appear on eBay, I just graduated high school and got all the, you know, graduation money and I was like, oh, I have all this money. And I was an idiot and I really sp way overspent on this. I, and it's so important, besides that I got this because I really wanted it, because I just learned from that. So I was like, yes, it's a waste of money, but you can also learn from these cases. And it's beautiful, so I still love it, and I, I don't mind, I don't regret it, especially because I learned from the um, from the stupid thing I did. Um, if I waited one more month, I could have gotten it for much cheaper. If I wait two months, months even cheaper. So it's like, I really overspent on this, but somehow I don't mind, and just, you know, I learned from this. That's why it's nostalgic. The next one is FX's Electric Shock. They were not my number one girl group by that time, but I've known them as long as Super Junior and started to listen to more of their songs uh, even before Suju. So, it's just... This was the first comeback I experienced and bought from one of my top groups. And I guess Shiny was part of my top groups that time. So, and I did... I was there with Sherlock, so... Um, but I did buy this one, so, and it's just, oh, I love it so much, I just love it so much, it's just like, you know, first, it wasn't my first non suju album, but one of my firsts, so I was just like, I just love this album so much, and it's precious, because FX is really my number one girl group, they are my second favorite group in total, so I just never could leave them, so here and this is also their most most successful comeback and not their most uh, not their best selling album but still it's like the most viewed MV and the song is really good and the only reason why I wouldn't say it's my favorite because I really listen to it way too much and I don't listen to it anymore I mean I still do sometimes but like Electric Shock is not one of the title tracks I still listen to so it's like weird <laughs> but I still love this one so much then the next one is a photo card and it's Donkey's Opera for the card, the elf version, because only the elf version came with cards. And now these are so hard to get. But I got this through a trade. I bought a second copy of Opera, hoping if I would get Inyak, maybe a song, because I know that Anna had this card. We were not friends back then, but when I saw that she got Donkey, I was just like, oh no, I really want that card. And then bought the second copy of elf version 
for like even a bit cheaper than my first copy and even got the elf for the book like the first one didn't even have the photo book because the sellers took it um, so, so that I really needed a second copy for the photo book anyways and I just got Yesong and we could trade and then we became friends and we really really did talk a lot and we talked uh, all the time uh, now we are not talking that much anymore but you know, it's still important, so it's like st she still is a really, really important friend, and this card is the key <laughs> to that, and it's like... Uh, I just love this card so much, you know, and I also keep it in a sleeve, and now it's so hard to get, and it's like... I overspent on other cards, then this one was okay, and I'm just really happy that this was okay. The next one... Super Junior second album Don Don digital disc type of free package. This was the first rare item I bought. This is why this is special. This was the first rare. Now I have things which are more rare, and actually I paid much less for this than the puzzle piece. So um, I think I paid an okay price for this. Maybe I could have gotten it for a bit cheaper, but not really cheaper. So and I just love this so much. And by that time, I didn't know that Don Don becomes my favorite album ever, like from Super Junior, and well, in K-pop because, you know, um, I just didn't know, and this was also the last uh, I got from the four types, and after this I thought of the idea of uh, unboxing reviews, so the Don Don version was the one which started it all, the unboxing reviews, which is my favorite playlist, and I love doing those videos, I love to see my collection grow like that, and the tiny completed parts of my collection. So this is really important because this was the first thing I completed for Suju, like the Don Don albums, the four Don Don albums, even if this one was rare and I just really like, and I like holding it. It's like, yeah, like a weird DVD case, but square shape. And, and it's just so weird, but I love it so much. So this is just really precious for many reasons. The next one. Is Tiara's Lovey Dovey single, the CD only version. This is special for more reasons. This is the first uh, Tiara album I got, not the first item because I got in junk photo cards before. And uh, this is also the first time they had a CD plate. And I didn't get in junks originally, but I traded, and the trade took really long to arrive. So it's like experience, I guess. And now I don't mind anymore because you know I have in junk. The CD plate now and it just doesn't matter anymore and this is also my favorite CD plate of her ever it's just so beautiful and gorgeous and I just love this one so much so it's like a long trade first Tiara single and it's like what I got and it's like oh, I, I like I got this before Korean things so this is just just special so I'm just you know I just really like it like, it's like it's special <laughs> The next one is a card, and it's Don't Kiss Supergirl Japanese card. It's so thin, but not the thinnest card. I got an even a thinner jacket card recently. So, um, it's like, it's beautiful. I love this. I just love this concept. And when I first saw pictures from this, I had no idea what, what was this. And then when I discovered that the Japanese version has a CD plus DVD version, which is with this concept, I just, and I found it, and it's just like, no, I have to get it. And I only bought one copy, and I got his card. It's just like it wasn't my first time getting a donkey card because I got his card in Sexy Free and Single, both of his cards actually, because I bought many copies of the A version. So it wasn't my first time getting donkey, but but it was the first time when it was really important. These cards are so rare. The album to get a first press is is rare, and 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 I just got his and out of eight types, so it is like not really easy to do. So it's just like oh my god. Oh my god. This is just so it's like a really special it's like because of this my Donkey collection the cards became so easier, much easier to get. And I just love this card so much. It's like oh my god I love it. <laughs> Damn. Um the next item is, this was all from, uh, well, the first one is 2011, but the last was 2012, so many things from the first year. Then the next one is Super Junior's Boys in City 3. This is the photo book which is out of print, and I wasn't there when it was released, so I didn't get to get it then. 
and I just really wanted this. I remember really, really wanting this. I got the first two, two really soon, like I wasn't collecting for long when I already got those two because I just really like the idea of the books because there's so many pictures and I just always really, really wanted this. Like I couldn't even explain how much I wanted this and I paid a lot for this. I think maybe you can get it a tiny bit cheaper now, but I think it was worth it. This is my favorite Boys in City. It's like, even if I would like one more, I would still say this is my favorite because I just wanted this so much. I actually really like the packaging too. And it's tiny and it's still so heavy. I just really like it. Actually, I paid the, like around the same for the this puzzle piece and this. So it's crazy. <laughs> but, but like, I just wanted this one so much and I got it from the 2012 Christmas money and I got it in 2013. So, because it was expensive and, you know, when it's Christmas you get more money at once, so it's easier to buy more expensive things. And it's like, I decided that I really needed this and it's just, it's here and I, I have this for more than two years now, so I'm just like, yay! <laughs> the next item is this Donkey Keychain. And it's because when Super Show 5 started, Donkey was blonde, really blonde. And, well, now I'm okay with that hair, but that time I really hated it. And I still don't like it. I mean, it's just okay. It's just like, and I was so mad that day. I was like, no, I need something, Don Donkey, where he looks normal. And it's just like, I had wanted this keychain because I don't know, I just really like this picture. And like, you know, it's like not everywhere because there are many donkey pictures which you have seen a thousand times already. So I just wanted this. And I already had a similar type, which is actually bigger. And I didn't know. I thought it's going to be the same. And I, you know, I just got this and it's like, it's just special because, you know, I was just so angry for the blonde hair. And I got the blonde hair donkey keychain and it's just like, ah. And it wasn't too long when he dyed his hair back and I was like, oh. Okay, but there are still like breakdown promotions where they get that hair and I know. <laughs> well, whatever. And then the next item is Infinite Evolution, which is the first birthday gift ever, like not like first album birthday gifts ever I received. And uh, it was from Lindsay. We were not really talking that much, so I totally didn't expect it. So that's why it's special because it was such a big surprise and I was just like barely into infinite. I already had a new challenge because I got into them before that and it was just, it was just whoa, it's like my infinite collection just grew suddenly and I didn't have many K-pop albums from other groups besides Suju that time so it was, oh, and I don't know, it's just really special because of that. And it's a great mini album, so this is the first like YouTube birthday gift album thing I got and received. So it was spe it's special because of that, and it's special. It's really just special. So, so she's not really doing videos now. Sometimes she is, but yeah. So I'm still really grateful for this album. So, and I still actually have the thing which I got this in. <laughs> the next one. Is Jonga's Playgirls photo card. This was a gift from my friend Carrie, who we, we don't talk anymore, and I really don't know what's with her. Sometimes I just randomly mention her on my Facebook or her Tumblr because I just like I think about her often. And this is a card we were already talking, and it's like, um, and Kahi's uh, Rambling Girls, and this one was up. And Kahi's Rambling Girls ended on an okay price, so I ended up buying that. And we were talking, and it was like, Oh, some bitch overbidded me on this card, and it was her, and sent it me in my birthday package, and it was like, oh god, no, it was you, and it's just so special, it's just so, uh. and I just really, really miss Carrie, and I just don't know what's with her, and I'm just worried, and, and it's just, I really miss Carrie, and she's an inspirer, so it's like, I learned infinite, uh, how she introduced that, them to me, so... A year ago, I actually searched back the message where she described each of the members and I just wanted to know what she wrote about Hoya, that I didn't want to like him that much because now Hoya is one of my top biases and 
and she doesn't know and uh, she was already into Jaya and she doesn't know I got into Jaya and you know it's just like so many things I want to tell her and this card always reminds me of her so and this is a beautiful Jonga card this is actually my favorite Jonga card ever this is just so gorgeous like oh my god look at that gorgeous girl so it's like because of Carrie, it's just really special and of course because of Jonga too and it was also one of my first birthday presents too so it's just hmm, it's special <laughs> then the next one the last 2013 item is this this is a light stick this is from Super Show 5 in London which was my first and only concert cable concert I attended and the best day of my life even if I had a lot of things to complain about I know I feel ashamed but I feel like um, you know people are talk oh you're just lucky that you got there it's like you don't really know the feeling and unfortunately you have a lot of expectations and of course it's not gonna meet yours so it's like and it's and part of you is a bit angry that you are not there anymore and it's like past and it's like you want to be there still and you're just like remembering the bad things as well because it's just like it's a really weird feeling so at least that's what I felt so I mean I, I was happy so it's still the best day of my life I still say that and this is a custom, custom made light stick for that I'm not even sure who made it and actually this was the last one so it's also special because uh, um, there's a Facebook uh, group and you just have to write oh, oh I want one okay but I didn't know where they were selling these because you were not allowed to sell things around the arena so they were selling them on a bridge or something like farther away and I didn't know and uh, there were Polish girls standing behind us and uh, actually one of them was like oh you have that amazing photo card collection right and I was like yeah I do even though I'm actually more proud of my albums but people don't really know that so um, by that uh, in 2013 I was still buying a lot of cards so I guess that's why so uh, she was like oh I have to go there and it's like I gave her one pound oh that's not one pound and she thought she got the last three ones uh, for herself or one of my friends and this one for me and just like oh my god I got the last one and there is like a light stick memory of the concert even though I was not the one who was using using it it was actually Charlotte, one of the girl, uh, friends I made there, so she was using it. So because I had my own Super Show Five one, uh, but it's still really special because you know it reminds me of the concert. It's made for the concert, and the Polish girl who got the last one from me, I'm still really grateful. And you know, it's just like the concert, which is the best day of my life. So <laughs> what do I? What am I still explaining about this? Then. I actually picked only one thing from 2014, which is interesting. This is Jaya's first single, Nativity. I didn't get into Jaya originally because I was mad at Star Empire, because of Nine Muses, you know, you know how it goes, because Jaya always got more. And I always gave up learning them, like, I gave up on brief like, two times already. I was like, no, I can't do this. Then I decided, no, I'm learning them. And then I went to the Gust of Wind, which I really like the song, but Shivan has two hairs there, so I just couldn't learn them at all. And then somehow I managed to learn them. There was so much suffering, I did learn them. And they actually started the era of me actually getting into more boy groups. Before that I was like Super, Ju Super Junior, my other top boy groups, and, and girl groups mainly, mainly girl groups. So they started it. Mm, and this was the first thing I got from them. And this is out of print. This is rare. Not too rare, but this is rare. And it was on Great Music CD's eBay page. It wasn't a new price, like when they were released, but it was an okay price. So it's like, okay, I can see that this is not an easy to get album. Like, I don't know, it was under $30, like 25 or something, and usually you get an album for 15 So it was like more, by $10, but it was so worth it, even though this is just a single. And you have all these songs on their first full album, but still, <laughs> it was the first Jia thing I got. I was just learning them, and we were on a vacation, and I kept listening to the song, The Gust of Wind. And I actually started to like Mazel Tov too, uh, which is on this. Um, just like, you know, this reminds me of Jia, because this is the first thing I got, which is super weird, because this is like 
the rare thing and the second thing I got is the other rare thing and then the third thing I got like the, I bought is the third rare thing so I was like so weird how I collected Jia but I'm just really happy I got into them because I just love Jia so much and I wish more people would so it's like and also it's a nice packaging and I really really like this foam this is a different kind of foam that other companies use so I just really like it I just really, really, really like it <laughs> So this is a 2014 item, and then the last two are from this year. This is a don uh, I collect Donkey Fan Side Food Books, and this is the fourth food book of Only He. This was one of the first food books I pre-ordered, but I never got this one because I didn't order it directly from the side, but through another one. I wasn't really familiar because you know one of my first food books, and I never got it and it took me two years to find it and actually get it so I just got it this uh, year like in February and it just finally it was on my list of soon unboxings or whatever like unboxing soon for two years and I just it's here and it's amazing I just love Donkey Food Books so of course like I love Food Books so yeah like fan site Food Books are really great and it's just it's here, you know, I just waited so much for this, it was a scam, and I was angry, and then it's finally you have it, and you can close, close it, like, yes, it was a scam, but who cares, it's here, yes, I did pay twice for this, but I just don't care after I got this, I just don't care anymore, so this is like, this way I could close it, because while I still didn't have it, I was always worrying about this, and after having it, it's just like, yeah, it's done, it's done. It was on my first scam, but like buying and getting scammed like that, it was the only time. So, just like, oh, finally. It's it's just over. And yeah, it's just so important. And it's really, really pretty, so. The last item, because I've been doing 15 items, I'm sorry, is Monstax's debut mini album, Trespass. And why is it here? And I feel bad actually for including them, but not Matt Town. And my heart uh, with Matt Town is forever gonna be jealous of, je jealous of most eggs because obviously they are gonna be much more popular. So it just hurts because of Matt Town. But most eggs is the group which I can't even say that I've been there since debut because I've been there since way before debut, like way before, like it's it's like six months before, like. I'm pretty sure like the only people who were there uh, more than me were like those uh, f who were fans of uh, New Boys and then Starship Stands who were like okay New Boy Group Survivor Show we are watching it because they had the second teaser when the second teaser came out with K. Will that's when I watched it so I guess Starship fans when they watched it for the first teaser they were there before me but you know it doesn't matter who was there first it's just the point is that I've been there for really long I'm just so interested in them and then they came with the pair teasers with two and it's just like these are so cool and they were so much fun I just like the whole idea and then the 10 episodes which I suffered through because my bias was hated by the judges and nobody seemed to see the talent nobody seemed to see his personality which I have seen from the first episode for, uh, of Doc's Patch and the first episode of No Mercy and nobody seemed to see it and to this day those who notice him and now say that he is cute even though they were bashing him during No Mercy I'm just not okay with those people but you know I have to get over it it's just I'm just really happy that Minyak is in this group and uh, I'm just really happy for everyone in this group it's just so special to like even if musically, this if you would ask me a year before, I was like, no, I'm not interested. But because I've just been there for them for way before debut, it's just special. And I was just so looking forward to this debut. I was like, no, I need to react to this. I need to pre-order this. I want my album. I want my album. I want my album already. And this is like, oh, it's just magical. So I'm just, I just know that I want to be there for Monstax uh, un until they disband or, or become inactive or something because uh, you can't really avoid that um, so I want to be there for them uh, until then 
because you know they are that kind of special group. And it doesn't mean that they are important, more important than Super Junior. No way. Super Junior is always the most important. But there's the thing that I wasn't there from their debut, so I'm experiencing things which I couldn't with Super Junior. So that's why it's a special. It's just a totally different feeling. And Monstax is like my sixth favorite boy group only and ninth favorite group in total. So they are not even super high on my list, at least how high you can get on my list. But, you know, it's just... Yeah, and just... They are just like the special babies, I would say, because I'm forever gonna see them as babies because, you know, I knew them before they were born. <laughs> and I hated the name, and now I'm okay with the name. Monstax is not even that bad. And it's a really good mini album, did I mention it? And the photo book is amazing. The only flaw is that this is black and white. Why is this black and white? I have no idea, but this is actually beautiful. So, these were all the items I chose for this Nostalgia Attack. This is, wasn't even that long ago, so it's not really right that I picked it. But one year later, I would still watch this. I would still want to include this album because, you know, they're the first group that I've been there before they be... Well, I guess I come because I watched Miss so Match first, but, you know, it's like Monstax is going to be always higher on my list. So, yeah. <laughs> so these were all the things I got like, uh, here that I pegged. And uh, I tried to include many, many groups. So it won't be too boring. Mm, this is really long, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna say bye now. Bye, thank you for watching.